This is the Galaxy S2 SGH959G from Straight Talk. I'm going to show you how to put your own custom ROM on here. I'm using this forum online from XDA developers. It's pretty much the only uh, good way and reliable way that I have found. Um, but you must follow these instructions, so I would recommend anybody go to these forums and read this as well as watching the video. You will want to make sure that your Samsung drivers are on your computer to connect your phone via the USB cable and you also want to download Odin version 1.85 available on the internet. You will want to be sure that you have enabled USB debugging so go to your settings, applications, development and make sure USB debugging is checked. We will now want to install CWM recovery to the phone. Okay, now we're going to put the phone into download mode. It's kind of a little bit interesting to do here. You got to push the up and down volume button and hold the power button. And keep holding all the buttons. And it'll do a uh, reset, power on. and then this screen will come up. You are going to want to push the volume up button to continue. And now you are in Odin mode. It says downloading, do not turn off target. On your computer you'll have Odin open and you will click PDA click PDA and in your files here you will see a CWM recovery which you will have to download from the internet click that file it'll show it here click start which will do its work here it'll put a recovery on your phone and then that is completed and what you have done is you've installed the CWN recovery mode. You'll get to this screen in the same manner we got to the uh, download screen before by uh, pushing the power button while holding the up and down volume buttons. And then you will load up to this screen. What you'll want to do with this utility is you want to back up what you have now, which is your current uh, setup and current uh, gingerbread the default that came with it. You'll want to go to backup and restore and you'll want to back up and it'll run through a backing up procedure. Just leave everything as is. You can now reboot the system. What you'll need to do is put the zip file of the ROM that you want to go to, whether it be a Cyanogen or another mod and you want to put that on the X SD card you want to put it in the main root folder you don't want to put it in any subfolders the main root folder of the SD card and we'll do that now since the SGH959G is the exact uh, same phone as the AT&T i777 you can use all of the uh, custom ROMs that, that can go on that phone on this phone. Uh, I like to use the stable versions myself. There are a lot of people that like to use others. This is a Cyanogen mod. You'll just take take this file, download it to your computer, save it where you know you can find it, and then transfer that via the USB cable to your SD card on the phone. With the file transferred now, you want to go back into recovery mode. Press and hold up and down volume, power button. Seems like sometimes it boots twice. Okay. Now that your recovery mode is loaded, before you install your custom ROM, you want to be sure you wipe the data, factory reset, 
click that, go down to yes, delete user data, and then you want to wipe the cache partition as well. Okay, now you can install zip from SD card. You choose zip and you'll see your file right there. CM 9.1.0, click that, and click install. And it'll run through the process. And now it says install from SD card complete. So go back and reboot the system. At which point you will notice this is a little different than what it was before. You have now installed the custom ROM and the one thing that you will have to do is uh, download your GAPS or GAPPS -A -A which is the Google Apps. If you download your GAPS file, zip, you'll want to just send that to your SD card of the phone and then we can go back into the recovery mode and upload it from there. Okay, so then you'll be back into the recovery mode. Go to install zip from the SD card. Choose zip. And then click the gaps zip. And then yes. When you turn your phone back on you'll see Android is upgrading, optimizing applications. And it will finish your booting. And then you go to your uh, Google Play Store, log in, it'll give you your uh, backup and restore, it'll say there's updates available.